Hello guys. Welcome to our YouTube channel where you'll find nail-biting real couple cheating stories before moving towards the video. Don't forget to hit the bell icon for more interesting upcoming stories. Meet me. This is a male life was so unfair to me. I hadn't ever thought that the person he used to be in my whole world could deceive me like this after realizing that she was doing all this just because my my soul still trembles whenever I think about that phase of my life. Tracing back to the year 2018 when I got married to Jasmine at the very beginning, our married life was going really good. Like I remember how we both used to do a lot of romance. Me guys used to enjoy each other's company a lot. In fact, after about 5 months, I came to know that my wife got pregnant as well, but unfortunately our baby died in her womb as my wife got food poisoning. Well, that was indeed a very sad phase of my life but still I handled her, everything became smooth and good again. She started doing job as a receptionist in the bank where I was working as a multinational company. Our physical relationship is satisfactory to telling you the truth. I had seen many wounds seem spied in her body several times. But every time when I used to ask her about that wounds, her answer used to be the same that she could see an allergy. I obviously couldn't thought that time but that my wife was actually speaking life with me and making me fool. But actually I was the biggest fool and dumb peasant. What all this happened to me? To be honest, I used to be, I used to trust my wife a lot that I had not ever suspected her in spite of interacting with many unexpected situations and red flags. But what happened one day will definitely surprise you. I remember one day I reached home early from my office because I got a severe headache at the time. It was about 5 p.m. in the evening. Usually my wife used to be at her workplace at that time. When I reached the house. At first, I was shocked to see the door unlocked. I thought that maybe the robbers were stealing something inside. Who unlocked the door? Well, I took out my gun and silently moved inside. I found no one in the dining room and TV, lounge area. I was just about to call my wife. When I heard a laugh coming from my bedroom, I was damn sure that it was my wife when I reached my bedroom, the door was half opened. When I fully opened the door, I was literally shocked to see my wife in a strange and thought-provoking state with her brother. I remember how they were fully immersed in each other. They were literally hugging each other like love. Couple, my feet froze after seeing them in such an unexpected state. As soon as they found me in front of them. I exactly remembered their strange reaction without my asking. I remember how my wife began to cry loudly and moved towards me. She literally hugged me. Immediately I was just shocked by her strange behavior. I remember how she was telling me that she was missing her father a lot who used to resemble with her brother a lot, the home she was hugging that time. At first, I didn't understand why she was saying this to me later. I understand that she was just giving me an explanation of why she was hugging her brother. Well, I obviously used to trust her a lot that time and in spite of catching her hugging with her brother, I fully ignored and considered it the sibling love. Well, I greeted her brother, took the headache medicine and slept. I woke up at about 6 p.m. in the evening when I found my wife nowhere in the bedroom. I called her name several times but she did not respond later. I heard some sounds of a water shower coming from the washroom and then I realized that she was taking a bath at that time. Well, I kept waiting for her for about one hour, but she didn't come back from the washroom before that. She used to spend just 15 to 20 minutes in the washroom. It seemed like she was talking with someone or having the conversation with someone in the washroom as well. I decided to knock on the door in order to uncover the truth. When I started knocking the door, I realized that my wife stopped talking or she came to attend. She literally came back from the washroom within 4 to 5 minutes. 
When I knocked on the door, I remember my wife's facial expressions like she was very afraid or seemed very confused. She was so fish out of water at that time, like literally, she was not facing me. When I asked her what she was doing inside the washroom for so long, she then made her hair dry and then began to give me an explanation that she was just singing in the washroom. Well, I obviously did not take the matter on my nerve and went to the washroom. When I reached the washroom, I found my wife's AirPods on the floor. I realized that she was talking with someone on the phone inside the washroom. I even found multiple color lingerie under the washroom cupboard as well, which was definitely hidden by my vibe. But I called her cunning act. I really did not understand what was actually going on in her mind. Her unconditional love and affection for her brother was really very disturbing for me. She used to defend her brother every time her priority was just used to be her brother. I always used to ignore her tremendous concern for her brother with the thought that they might be in a strong sibling bonding. Life is going fine as before. But then pandemic came and everyone in the town started infecting with COVID-19. I remember it was about 2 a.m. that night. I was sleeping peacefully. I got my eyes opened in order to quench my thirst. When I woke up, my wife was not in the bed. At that time, I thought that she might be in the washroom that time and then slept again. After about 10 minutes, I heard my wife's blubbering sound. I hardly woke up and began to make her calm down. When I asked her the reason for her tears, my wife looked into my eyes deeply and then began to cry again. I hadn't ever seen her this much restless and sad. I kept asking her the reason for her sadness. My wife then replied that COVID-19 was disturbing her mental health a lot. She said that she wanted her father to stay with us. She further said to me that her father was very irresponsible towards his health. So she didn't want her father to be affected by COVID. I remember how she was badly crying and said that her father was very dear to her. That time, her father used to live with her sister in another town. Well, I called my wife's father and asked him to stay in our house till the COVID-19 is over. He agreed with my idea. After about three days, he reached our house. To be honest, I was shocked to see him like he seemed really young and handsome. At first, I wasn't even able to believe that it was my wife's father. My wife then told me for the very first time that her mother got divorced with my wife's biological father. When she was 20 my wife told me for the very first time. I really did not understand my wife's unconditional and tremendous love for her stepbrother. After about three days, I was even more shocked to see my wife's brother coming into our house with luggage. It seemed like he came into our house with the intention to stay. When I asked him about the luggage with hand gestures, I remember his expressions. He gave me a fake smile and then said that it's his house and had some water shorted issues which was under construction. He said that he will stay with us till this problem is fixed. I was literally very irritated at that time. I told my wife that I'm not going to bear many people in our house. As usual, my wife showed her innocent face and requested me to tolerate them for some time. I agreed with her idea, but things started becoming worse. I remember one day when it was about 2 a.m. that night, I saw something really unexpected and ridiculous. I randomly got my eyes opened in order to take the cough medicine because I got a cough. At that time, I looked here and there and found my wife nowhere. I stood up from my place in order to find my wife. But only because she knew where the medicine was placed. I went out of the bedroom but did not find her anywhere. I was just about to call her when I heard some erotic sounds. It seemed like someone was having some activities here. I wasn't able to identify exactly where the sounds were coming from. I was just focusing hard on the voices and was trying my best to identify from where the sounds were coming. 
when I accidentally and unintentionally made one of the mirror fell down. I was shocked to realize that sounds immediately vanished. It seemed like someone realized my presence outside and stopped what he was doing. It must be my wife's brother or her father because they were the only people who were staying in our house. I went to my room where I was shocked to find my wife already present. She was sleeping in the bed at that time. She was sweating that time. Many questions are popping up in my mind, but I fully ignored them and didn't consider them. When I reached the room, I came to know that I got work from home due to COVID-19. I was really happy that time because I really wanted to spend memorable and tantalizing time with my wife. That day, I reached house very early and I reached the house. I already realized that I found the key. At first, no one was opening the door for me. After about five minutes, my wife's father came to open the door. He was in a very strange state. His face was really red that time. He was even sweating badly. At that time, I really didn't understand the reason of his strange state and moving inside the house. I was shocked to see my wife hidden at the curtains back as soon as she found that I had already seen her. I remember how she cunningly covered the situation. She began to give me an explanation that she got off from her workplace. That's why she was in the house that time, blah, blah. It was crystal clear that she was hiding herself at the back of the curtain and that was not prank or fun thing. But all my wife was actually trying to hide me from her reality. I didn't understand the exact reason of her such cringy behavior. I started doing work from my home where I got a lot of red flags. Like I had often caught my wife coming late to our bedroom probably from her brother's room. One day, I quarreled with my wife's brother on some personal financial matter. So he finally decided to leave our house that time. I was very happy. My wife was obviously not happy because according to her, I humiliated her brother hardly in 2021. When the COVID-19 got over, I asked my wife to send her father back to his place. But my wife is not agreeing with my idea. According to her, she wanted to take care of her father. To be honest, that person was so young and handsome that he was not in need of care or something like that. I noticed that he started interrupting a lot of our personal matters. Fortunately, one day on receiving the call, I realized that I got an emergency for a business tour. That time, there was no place for my happiness. I was extremely excited. My wife was also very excited and happy. I had never seen her this extent happy and excited. I used to think that my wife was happy for my success. Later, I realized that why she was happy. My wife wasn't used to picking my call timely. When I was in the bus one day, I decided to surprise her by suddenly going to the house without informing her about my arrival on entering the house at about 9 a.m. of the night. At first I found darkness where later I heard same erotic sounds coming from my bedroom. When I opened the door, I was shocked to see my wife with her own brother. Yeah. My wife was doing some activities with her own stepbrother. They were both fully high. Their time tears trickled down my cheeks. My feet froze. I had nothing to say when they found me in the room. At first, my wife was denying the fact that later she confessed everything she told me that she was in a physical relationship with her stepfather. When she was a in Asia. After her confession, I had nothing to say. She was apologizing and regretting a lot of what she had done. But I divorced her at the moment yesterday. I came to know from one of my mutual friends that my ex-wife got pregnant from her stepfather who broke up with her. She wanted to reconcile again. But now never. What would you do if you were in the same situation?